morning. It's day two. We are at Portland, the port. Getting ready uh, to go into our tour today. Getting ready. So let's see, do you see any of the, yeah, the buses are behind me somewhere. That's what you have to take. One of the buses, you can't just freely walk off of the ship here in Portland. Uh, once you get through the uh, terminal over here, you'll have to hop on their provided free shuttle. And then it takes you basically three spots. It takes you to the castle, uh, the city of Weymouth, and then back here to the terminal. So you just can't freely walk out, I guess. The entrance into Stonehenge will put you back 26 pounds per adult at the gate. Highly recommend to pre-book your tickets online for discounts and to avoid long purchasing lines. From the entrance, you can either walk the 1.2 mile trail route or ride upon the provided bus shuttles. Shuttle buses run every few minutes between the visitor center and the stones. At the site, you simply follow the path around the stones. The circle path gives you different angles to view the stones and the ancient landscape. Constructed in several phases from around 1600 BC to 3100 BC, each stone is 13 feet high, 7 feet wide, and weighing 25 tons. This 5,000 year old monument has been examined by scientists for centuries, though our understanding of the structure has increased greatly particularly in recent years, questions persist about who built Stonehenge and why. The Heel Stone, known by many names in the past, including Friar's Heel and Sunstone, is a rough stone 16 feet above ground. At the summer solstice, an observer would stand within the stone circle, looking northeast through the entrance they would see the sun rise in the direction of the heel stone. Get a better view. Welcome to Salisbury Cathedral. The Salisbury Cathedral was built in just 38 years, between 1220 and 1258, in a style called Early English Gothic, which emphasized height and light. The cathedral is without question one of the nation's most iconic medieval buildings. In total, the cathedral was built with 70,000 tons of limestone, 3,000 tons of timber, and 450 tons of lead. The Salisbury Cathedral holds claim to England's tallest church spire, measuring 404 feet. It is home to the world's oldest working mechanical clock, dating back to 1386 and has a magnificent collection of medieval stained glass windows, including the famous Rose Window. However, the undoubted star attraction is the presence of perhaps the single most important document in all of English history, the Magna Carta. It was issued in June 1215 and was the first document to put into writing to prevent the king and his government from exploiting power by establishing law as a power in itself. Only four copies have survived since 1215 and the Salisbury Cathedral has the best preserved. Now visitors can view the document as part of a permanent interactive exhibition. The cathedral today remains a working religious space and services are held multiple times throughout the day. General admission tickets are required to enter the cathedral, which can be purchased upon arrival or in advance online. If you plan on visiting the cathedral, make sure to take the tower tour. It gives you a chance to climb the 332 wooden steps inside the famous spire.
experience spectacular views of Salisbury from 223 feet up. It is well worth the climb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <it's okay. laughs> Downtown Salisbury. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where's the
Wow, what a great way to end day number two here on the British Isle Tours. This is the Portland Port. What a great way to end. It's a nice day. Highly recommend anybody to do the Dorset Tours. It's a great one. I'll put the link down below. I think you'd really appreciate it. It's a small group. It's great. All right, it's the official almost end of day two. We're here, Portland, UK. Yep, getting to the evening. It's gonna be heading out to get some dinner. But before we go and we push off and sail away to our next destination of Guernsey, the island of Guernsey, just wanna say we had a good day. Uh, the somewhat private tour with Dorset Tours was really good. Well worth the money. It was maybe, what, 65 pounds each. There was only six of us in a van. Went up to go and see Stonehenge. Mm, it's all right. And then the city of Salisbury, we could have stayed a little bit more time there. Uh, there you have the Salisbury uh, Cathedral. We didn't go in not enough time they only gave us about an hour and a half certainly you probably needed just two hours alone to go through the cathedral city was nice so it was all in all it was a nice day a little warm of course when we're here it's hot here in Europe but day we'll see what day three brings us until tomorrow thanks for watching song they were playing. Damn love boat. <laughs> I know. They just keep going. That was awesome. It scared the bajubies out of me. What are you clapping at them for? They killed someone. <laughs>
<laughs> Where's the thing at? a nice way to end the day. Yeah. So, so is this still considered...